AI chips are tiny pieces of silicon that power artificial intelligence, the technology that is changing our world. From self-driving cars to smart assistants, and from medical diagnosis to entertainment, AI chips enable machines to learn, reason, and act. The entire technology industry, semiconductors is the fundament of all of that. There's no tech industry without semiconductors. Not without me, pal. However, AI chips are also the battleground of a fierce war between the US and China, the world's two superpowers. Both countries are competing to develop the best AI chips, hoping to gain an advantage in the global AI race. So who will win this war? And why are AI chips this important? Why are AI chips so much important? Imagine a software engineer working for one of the biggest tech companies globally. They are part of a team developing a groundbreaking AI application set to revolutionize their industry and enhance customers' lives. After months of coding, testing, and debugging, they are ready to launch it to the world. However, a problem arises. They don't have enough AI chips to run their app. We, we've been through this. AI chips are the heart of artificial intelligence, a technology revolutionizing every industry and aspect of our lives. Unlike ordinary chips, AI chips are specially designed to perform complex calculations and operations, enabling machines to learn from data, recognize patterns, make decisions, and interact with humans. And without AI chips, their app would not function properly, risking the loss of their competitive edge and market share. So these components are even more important than you might think. But why are AI chips so hard to get? Why, why was that so hard? The answer is simple. There is not enough supply to meet the demand. The production of AI chips is a complex process. They require a lot of resources, expertise, and innovation. That's why only a few companies worldwide can make AI chips. And one of these companies is NVIDIA, the leader in producing GPUs, the most powerful type of AI chips. The chips that NVIDIA produces have numerous positive attributes, making them highly desirable. For example, their exceptional processing speed, energy efficiency, and reliability. NVIDIA is the primary supplier of AI chips for most software companies. However, one company can't produce chips for the entire world, right? They acknowledge that they can't satisfy everyone, leading to an increase in the price of their chips. Currently, their prices are skyrocketing, causing issues for software companies. NVIDIA is also becoming too powerful and influential. It is now a $2 trillion company, surpassing many of its customers in value and influence. Now, major software companies like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are, of course, not really happy with this situation, and they have decided to take action. They choose to make their own AI chips, reducing their dependence on NVIDIA, and gaining more control over their AI development because through limited AI chips, they can't work fast and grow fast. However, this is not an easy task, and they face many challenges and risks along the way. But that doesn't stop them from aiming big and doing big. Microsoft is determined to develop its own Azure Maya 100 chip for cloud services just to avoid its reliance on external chips. Similarly, Meta is focused on working on its in-house AI chips, MTIA and Artemis, for the improved and effective application of AI. And not just that, by the end of 2024, Meta plans to gather AI hardware equivalent to 600,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs, including purchases of AMD's Instinct MI300 processors. Yes, you are right, that's huge. But there's something I would call huger, which is the investment of $7 trillion. That is a lot of money. And no, I am not stating numbers out of the blue, but it's actually Sam Altman who's seeking an investment of $7 trillion for a chip-making venture to develop competitive AI chips. Well, Sam Altman's chat GPT has been outperformed by Gemini in certain features, which in turn is the product of this AI chip war. But how's that made possible? You may certainly know Gemini, but you might be missing out on the important fact that Gemini has been trained on Google's in-house chip, TPU. How often do we hear that leaders influence the best outcomes by followers? And how rarely we see examples of it? Similar is the case with SoftBank. This Japanese company, which is highly influenced by NVIDIA, is entering the AI chip market with a significant investment to compete. But Japan is not the only South Asian country that aims to ace this market. There's another, that is China. 
China has already hailed the position as one of the AI superpowers and is consistent to dominate the chip market. China has every reason to go after it because gone are the times when countries used to fight over a piece of land, but it's the digital assets now. China versus USAI chip war. The United States is the global leader in chip design and innovation, with companies such as NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD dominating the market. China, on the other hand, is the largest consumer of chips and is rapidly catching up with its own chip makers, such as Huawei, Alibaba, and Baidu. The AI chip war has intensified due to US sanctions and export restrictions on Chinese companies, which have limited their access to advanced chips and technologies from the United States. But guess what? China has responded by launching several initiatives and policies to boost its domestic chip capabilities and reduce its dependence on foreign chips. However, both countries face a common challenge in securing and expanding their access to a rare and vital element for chip production. Gallium. Well, gallium is a soft, silvery metal that has unique properties that make it ideal for semiconductor applications, especially for AI chips. However, gallium is also a scarce and finite resource, with limited reserves and production worldwide. One of the key sources and suppliers of gallium in the world is Taiwan, a small island nation off the coast of China, which is also a global leader in the semiconductor industry. Taiwan produces and exports about 70% of the global gallium output and is a key partner for both the United States and China which rely on Taiwan's gallium exports for their chip and AI industries. But Taiwan is also in the middle of a long and unsolved problem between the United States and China, who have different ideas and claims about Taiwan's political situation and freedom. The United States helps and protects Taiwan's democracy and independence, while China thinks Taiwan is a part of its land. The Taiwan Strait, the thin water that is between Taiwan and China, is one of the most tense and dangerous places in the world, where the United States and China have conflicts. The fight over chips has made the problem in the Taiwan Strait more serious and urgent, as both the United States and China want to get and use Taiwan's gallium resources and skills, which are important for their AI development and success. The US has given more help and support to Taiwan's chip industry, while China has given more pressure and threats to Taiwan to change its gallium trade and side. The fight and problem over gallium could make the fight over chips and the problem in the Taiwan Strait worse and lead to a bad and unstable situation between the two big countries, with bad results for the world's peace and safety. But still, the main question is, this element is limited on Earth, and even with more efforts in chip production, there is still only a finite amount of it. So what will happen when it runs out? Well, what do you think? Who's going to win this AI chip war? China or the US? Or do you think that other tech giants could give tough competition to Nvidia in chip making? Comment down below and share your insights with us. Check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.